Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your reading for the second half of September. If you're new to my channel, then welcome, guys. I'm Miss Edie with Miss Edie's Tarot. If you're returning, then welcome back, my darling Aries. It's always a pleasure to see you and to spend this time with one another. I appreciate and love sharing our energies, and I hope that you're able to get the messages you need to. Thank you again for commenting all of the beautiful messages. I love them about how they're relating to your situations, and it's always been exciting hearing where you're watching from, so when you're new, please comment comment your new uh your where you're watching from I should say and tag your birthday too so you can find your birthday twin thank you again for all the birthday wishes last week I celebrated my birthday so I appreciate all your patience because I took the time off and spent it with family as we should okay so we're gonna get into your reading I'm gonna start with the fairy oracles let's see what the beautiful fairy oracles are for the message for the second half or whenever this reading is finding you now okay of course the title resonated so that is why you're here Wow, fairy spotting. I like that. What is going on? This is such a beautiful mystical deck. So let's see what the messages are. Oh, it's so pretty too. So I feel like this is maybe some magic showing up for you. It's exciting. It's a time to go fairy spotting. It's said that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true because believing is seeing. So if you truly believe it, you will bring it into your world. You will bring it into your reality. It's like making it real because when we picture it in our mind, we can make it manifest in front of us. Very powerful law of attraction here too. Also creating the potential and possibility for this beautiful energy to enter your life, which is always exciting, Aries. Also a special shout out down to California to my darling Estrella. Hi, corazón. <laughs> it's always great to connect with all of you and I appreciate each and every one of you so much. A special shout out to my star. Thank you so much, girl. Let's get into to the romance angels let's see what the romance angels are bringing for you this month this half of the month i should say trust very powerful energy the situation is calling for you to have faith uh, you could be dealing with someone who has a military or law position, someone who wears a uniform, of course, someone in standing who takes care of other people. You know, this could be someone, sergeant, boss, manager. Uh, you could be the boss too. This could be also asking you to trust and have faith that things are happening for a specific reason. I feel like Cupid's kind of here with this little arrow. You see this little guy? He's up to something. So I feel like for some of you, it's like believing in the magic because it's right there. You see how these like fairy and Cupid are kind of around. I feel like for some of you, trust and have that faith because it is coming. So keep believing in it because attraction is also here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Embracing the period of time that we're in is the first step, right? So that we can accept it, so that we can kind of learn to adjust. It's difficult. It's not easy. And depending what part of the world you are, things are not moving the way we want to. So it's about stopping and smelling the roses, maybe literally flowers, could be significant you could have got some flowers too for others of you this is just asking you to slow down and enjoy your present moment the gift that is around you however it applies to your situation having that gratitude and appreciation for things will attract more things to be grateful and appreciate as well now this is also saying that uh, this romantic love comes in when you're enjoying this fully so you know really making yourself more attractive by just being in that position is very powerful. I know I just repeated the same thing, so I don't know why, but very soon you need to decide because clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Allowing this decision is gonna allow this to come towards you, right? Believing it, wanting it, and trusting, and knowing that it will arrive when it's meant to because we also have a lot of passion. <laughs> so I feel like for some of you, if you've been hoping for a very passionate connection, it is coming. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So trust that there is something. And of course, with this attraction, passion being that magnetic pull to one another, then your fire energy does that. So it's amazing. The new deck that I have to welcome to the tarot family is the soulmate cards. I added links below guys for my affiliate links as well. So feel free to check out. You can see a lot of the decks are listed. There are some that aren't because there's limited space. So if there's any deck that I use or have used in the past or will use, you can always find these links with my page. And what I'd like you to do is, of course, comment if it's not there and you would like more information on it. I can let that happen later, okay? Oh, this one fell out too. So let's see, you got three. We have, look at this beautiful sunset, romantic. This is for nurturing and attracting loving relationships. So wherever you are in your love journey, a profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. 
You have much more to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. Wow. Very strong energy. We are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with a great source of light whose love moves the earth and stars. Very powerful, very powerful energy. I like that. That's a very sacred union here. Surrender all that no longer serves you. Trust, right? Let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface to be healed. Let there be space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transforms darkness to light. Wow. Wow. I don't know why these ones hit me so deep and I love it because they're such deep soul messages anyway. So I hope that you're able to resonate with them. We're going to get into and I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot for the tarot portion, the original deck. So I'm giving my Royale a break here. <laughs> We're going to get into this. Let's see what the messages are coming through for my beautiful Aries, please. Gilded Tarot. What are the messages for Aries for this half of the month? What is coming through? What can you tell my beautiful Aries? Yes, right? Allowing things to leave, those burdens, those sadness, those difficulties, all those disappointments had to happen. I can't put it any other way for you guys. I feel like for some of you, a lot of things have been very taxing, very burdensome, a lot of things that you've been carrying, a lot of emotional disappointments, all those things that you used to thought were going in the right direction didn't. So it's kind of still asking you to have that faith, right? very difficult someone could be finding it a very could be dealing with a water sign let's start there so we have a oh my gosh a cancer scorpio or a pisces you could also be dealing with a leo sagittarius or an aries let's get a few more cards here i feel like this time of burden and difficulty could have been just because of all those things but what i really like is because what fell on top of it was you it's a new beginning we just saw that a new beginning transforms darkness to light whatever sadness was there use those tears to water your future honestly guys because there's a huge transformation that is coming with new beginnings and you're going to be leaping for joy. So if any of you have been hunched over and sad, you need to dry those pretty eyes and those handsome faces and get those chins up high because you're about to jump off into a whole new beginning. I feel like for some of you, this is also asking you to stop crying over spilt milk. Maybe things have been going difficult and you know how they say that when you're doing the right thing in alignment with your path, everything just falls into place. So if you've been trying to make things work that haven't been working, it's also called there's divine timing, but it's also called divine protection. So I feel like for some of you that has been taking place and that's why this full energy is coming in, which is your beautiful energy could also be dealing with the Virgo because I'm only at the earth here too, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus with the pentacle. But I feel like a new blessing, a new surprise, a new gift, something that you weren't expecting is coming out of the blue. And I feel like you've been doing a lot. Maybe you've been working so hard and it's kind of like, is it worth it? Is it going to pay off? This hasn't been working. That hasn't been working. And this can be in your connections this can be just in general perhaps even with health maybe there's been some str struggle I'm feeling but we have the two of cups behind the five of cups right so they're sitting behind the guy here if you haven't seen this I'll show you again so the two of cups is back there so it's kind of like stop crying over the sp spilt milk because there's always a blessing right there and I feel like when you learn to kind of lay down those wands that you don't need to carry all of a sudden you can straighten out you can't see the view if you're looking down on the ground right you need to get this higher perspective here kind of creating the opportunity for what comes come what may beautiful ace of pentacles new opportunity could be planting some seeds in work in business in general just having that beautiful faith kind of creates opportunity like i said what you attract that idea that you put out there wow we have the uh seven of pentacles so i feel like some of you have been working on a lot of things and you're waiting for that fruit so i feel like for some of you this could be that seed needing time to germinate to go through this season maybe you've been going through this harvesting is about to happen here however that means you could be of course having gone through all that struggle and difficulty and then now you've had all this faith you've had all this trust trust because you surrendered and you gave it to the universe and you were just like well come what may we're going to start with this beautiful experience and see where it's taking us because the fool is of course the zero the beginning a new beginning transforming all this accepting it learning from what 
had happened to have this new beginning. And then we also have the page of cups coming in. So someone could be communicating their emotion. It could be a surprise that you weren't expecting. Could be, of course, hearing from someone, whether it's a loving message, caring message, good news. But in general, could also be an apology as well for some of you. If someone did hurt you in the past, I feel like that could be what you weren't expecting as well as for someone to come back to apologize. Um, I don't feel like this is necessarily in a ending of something. It could just be a situation that was disappointing. And it's also having this new new beginning, planting this new seed. Someone is wanting to also water this, whatever that means, you know, to help provide and nurture this. Again, a lot of water energy could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. After that, we have the devil. So I feel like someone could be either very stuck on you, very bound to you. However, this means in terms of even obsessively, maybe having a lot of thoughts of you on their mind, wanting to grow this, wanting to offer this new connection, could just be dealing with a Capricorn. The devil energy can also talk about about some toxic stuff. So I feel like for many of you, you've done it. You've earned the ability to move on because you learned the lessons. You you earned your stripes. Whatever this was that was meant to burden you and teach you all these things, sometimes it's just like, this is the picture. How do you want to see it? And learning to see things from a different perspective and kind of embracing the change. Sometimes when we try to force it, it's kind of what helps keep us stuck because we're so focused on all those things that didn't work out, but really you gotta zoom out and see the bigger picture. So for some of you, like I said, you can't see the bigger picture if you're looking at the ground and all you see is what's down here, you're missing everything else. You're missing the full potential of everything around you, right? So it's kind of getting this whole new perspective, seeing things clearly, breaking those karmic ties, breaking those difficulties, could of course just be someone who's very interested in you, very obsessed about you, could be of course connected and communicating that feeling a very strong sexual desire to you too because we were starting on about that magnetic attraction and I feel like because attraction is here and passion they're very sexually attracted to you as well so even though they might be offering some kind of communication about love they could also be communicating about how passionate and steamy their interest is wanting to have this potential to uh you know <laughs> planting the seed i guess about starting a new beginning about seeing where things may grow in this connection however that applies to your situation but also having this new beginning an opportunity this person could be also very obsessed about how to start this commitment with you how to offer this towards you again could be an apology from someone who you may have wanted that with in the past and it didn't go there or it didn't start to become that but there could be a new chance of that happening um with the fool card things are kind of able to take a new thing you've released right trusting the universe taking that leap of faith handing it over to the divine having that strength to carry forward very powerful energy with the leo coming through too is also signifying that you guys have endured so much taming the beast you know i feel like too sometimes a lot of the stuff that we're carrying are all those things that we haven't released so for some of you you're controlling the mindset you're keeping yourself in a beautiful healthy paradigm you're using this shift to help yourself be in this good atmosphere and i feel like that's what's also helping you move forward with this confidence using that beautiful warrior goddess and god emperor energy and empress energy where you're just moving forward with your held head held high taking that leap of faith and I feel like this person can be seeing that with you. You could be seeing that with them and then wanting to move towards one another to take this leap of faith, having the strength to overcome ego, you know, because this, this toxic energy can also talk about things that are necessarily us, you know, our ego, our, our difficult energies that we have to transmute, that we have to go through because you don't want to start a new relationship carrying all the burdens and negative stuff from the other one, right? So this is kind of like, don't bring this into here. Let's block out that devil energy so that it can't come into that so that you can actually establish a positive grounded connection. Now it could be, of course, with an earth sign, could be with your business, could be a new opportunity coming in for work as well. And I feel like for some of you, you're having the strength to switch jobs possibly or something didn't work out or you were worried about this investment or if it's even just energetically not necessarily financially but you've been waiting for this to materialize and it's been taking so long and I feel like for some of you you're getting the news that it has and it's going to be a big payday for others of you it's an opportunity to also also duplicate and multiply that source so that that one seed can become an abundant tree that keeps growing and giving however that means for your situation I'm really excited it's a beautiful read let's get some lovers oracles because 
because we ended quite fast today. Your reading was straightforward and awesome. So let's see what the lover's oracles have for you. What other messages can you guys help us here with the Aries energy to clarify? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys got a few. Let's just do it. I'm going to read them straight for you and then we'll end on that note because these are beautiful energies that I feel like there's so many messages. So take which ones resonate. Again, these are general readings, so it's not a private reading, but your first one is acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change, which is beyond our control right? You just have to like, I can't do anything about it. I hand it over to my angels. I hand it over to my God. I hand it over to my faith. I hand it over to the universe. Please. Thank you. This is what I would like to learn from and bring in new, bring in this, this new energy. Ooh, for some of you soulmate, and look at that passion. Do you see that fire? Do you? I know, you know, you know, you bring the fire. What am I talking about? I know who I'm talking to. I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Don't worry, Aries. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Please believe this and they will manifest physically. Remember how I was saying with the fairies that you have to see it, like believe it to see it. So I feel like this is that whole energy with the soulmate. Believe it so that it can come in. Have that faith. You're not seeing it. And I feel like for some of you, it's already in your environment, but you're missing it. You're not looking there. Ooh, it's there, but you're not seeing it. Very powerful. Okay manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance and you see remember how i talked about that tree growing a very abundant and fruitful tree and it's talking about trust again so it's really just amplifying the whole point that there is something very powerful coming in we have three more it says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it's only by being true to yourself that you can be true to others and that theme keeps coming out to be true to yourself you attract beautiful things in this moment as you're enjoying it to the fullest we do have only time will tell so time takes time everything takes time and healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment beautiful energy with all this love and light and healing and of course as I always mention too if you don't know this you must call in your angels and give them permission to assist you so if you do need any kind of healing then you can always of course seek other forms of it with crystals or Reiki and all kinds of other treatments but you can also call in the divine and you have to give them permission to assist you through everything they're always waiting for you. You just have to ask, okay? And as always, guys, I um, want to give you a little gift for your time. The first link below is to help you have travel savings. But what's cool is my charity and foundation actually gives free meals. So for each one of those links that you take and help activate with your information, provides you lifetime access to travel savings up to 35% locally and long, far distances, however you can, when you can. And this is just a thank you from me to you. And of course, together, we'll be feeding families. So I appreciate your time today don't forget to check out all the other videos focus on the titles on which ones will resonate to maybe offer more clarity to your current situation as always stay blessed god bless all of you love and light and we'll see you soon take care bye